Okay, good afternoon, class. Welcome back again, huh? For another new week. All right. As uh, you already know, right? We are back to our lesson chapter four, huh? Chapter four, lesson four. Okay, our chapter four, uh, the title, the topic is uh, heat. You still remember or not? Heat. I hope you all remember now. Nah. In your lesson four, right? Nah, your first chapter, first sub topic you learn now nah, is uh, equilibrium, thermal equilibrium, right? Thermal equilibrium. And in your second lesson, now nah, you learn specific heat capacity. Okay, specific heat capacity. Nah. Q go to M C theta. Take out formula, right? Nah. And followed by your lesson three. Uh, lesson three is uh, specific latent heat. Okay, latent heat, uh, your important formula is Q equal to ML, latent heat. And last week, we continue what with our lesson four, which is uh, gas law. Right? Gas law. Huh? Okay, gas law, actually in gas law, you study the main, the three main laws are, the first one is Boyce law, second one is Charles law, we have done already and all. And tonight, we are going to finish up the last law, the pressure law, okay? So let's look at your paper now. Here, nah. Last week, uh, we stopped some here a lot. This uh, boys' law, you have learned this boys' law, right? And also, you have learned this child's law. I hope you all remember, you know. What is boys' law? Nah? Boys' law is what? Mignish. Mignish, ah. boys' law is what? Ah, Mignish? Yeah. Boy, what is boys' law? Ah, boys' law. No Boy's law, uh, nah. law is a uh, formula. Uh, like ah, formula. The formula. Can formula. you tell me the formula? P is uh, is inversely proportional. Pressure is inversely proportional to its volume. Yes, correct. Pressure inversely proportional to gas, right? The one is Boy's law. And the important formula for Boy's law is uh, each formula, right? P1, P1. P2, V2, correct not? This is Boyce's law, important formula, la, right? Okay, I don't want to repeat yeah. already. La. Charles law. What is Charles law? La? Common, do you remember? Common, la. Charles law is what? Uh, common? Common, la. how are you? Are you there, la? Common, Lee? Yes, yes sir. La, uh, common, Charles law is what? Volume is po directly proportional to temperature. Yes, correct. Volume directly proportional to the absolute temperature. And the formula is here, right? V1 over T1 equal V2 over T1. This one is Boyce's uh, Charles Law, la, right? Okay, I do want to repeat all this already. Okay, tonight we are going to see the last law. Okay, the last law is pressure law. Okay, we look at here now. Nah. Now nah, here. Pressure law. Where is it already? Nah, okay, here. Pressure law. Yeah. You have this paper, like everyone, huh? Right. Pressure law. First look at the formula first. Pressure law is focusing on pressure and temperature. Pressure, temperature. Lah. But remember, lah, this temperature is absolute temperature, like it's in Kelvin, okay? So, okay, look at here. What pressure law state? Okay, this one you have to highlight on your paper. Lah. For a fixed mass at constant volume, meaning that for pressure law, lah, the mass and the volume of the gas must stay constant. Because we only look at pressure and temperature, then we say 
pressure of gas directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Very easy to understand, right? Pressure directly proportional to the temperature. Meaning that is, when the temperature getting higher, the gas pressure definitely become higher, right? You just look at the car tire, la, the tire, right? When the car travel long distance, so the tire become very hot. When the tire become hot, la, so the air inside the tire is hot. So it will make the tire become very hot, very tense, understand? Because the pressure inside the, the gas, of, the pressure of the gas inside the tire is very high. Okay? So it's very simple. La. Another one example, you can look at balloon, for example. Balloon, right? When you heat up the balloon, now definitely the balloon now you expand one. Why expand? Because gas pressure become higher, ma. You say you will expand, no? right? Okay. So this formula, remember, now I don't want to explain already, la, huh? So you just need to remember pressure law, the relationship, ma. Pressure of gas directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Okay. So how to get this formula is like this, lah. We say pressure in directly to temperature so you say p proportional to t right so you change to equal this sign when you have this sign you cannot solve the problem right mathematically so you change to equal sign so you add a constant k so you bring the k the t over to dy so you see ah, huh? pressure divided by temperature is equal to a constant what is the meaning of that the meaning is ah, uh, for any gas you just take the pressure divided by the temperature, you will get a constant answer. Pressure divided by temperature, you get the same answer because it's a constant. Constant means that you get the same answer. Any gas, any time, any place, you take the pressure divided by the temperature of the gas, you will get the same answer. So it's constant K. Because uh, this is constant, that's why you can say P1 over T1, first situation, will be equal to the P2, T2, second situation. Because we don't care what situation they are, right? The answer will be the same. That's why we say P1, T1, equal P2, T2. This formula for pressure law. Huh? Okay, now you see the graph. Graph are first is directly proportional. Like you see that when this one temperature in Kelvin, right? So it becomes directly proportional. So remember, no. The temperature must be in Kelvin, absolute temperature. Then this one put zero here. So it's a straight line start from origin. Okay, directly proportional. Huh? But when the temperature is in Kelvin, Celsius is different, you know. It doesn't start from zero, it starts somewhere here, it goes up. But when you extend, I told you last week, right? When you extend the graph, you repeat the experiment many, many times, right? 100 times, 200 times, you plot this graph, you get the same thing. When Celsius temperature is zero, uh, the pressure doesn't zero, you know, it's not somewhere here. But when you extend, uh, you, every time you get the same value, negative 273 degrees Celsius. So remember this important temperature. Uh, this negative 273 degrees Celsius, uh, what is the name of this temperature? Can anyone tell me? Uh, Liang. Still remember or not? Negative 273 Celsius uh, is what temperature? Uh, absolute uh, zero. Yes, absolute zero temperature. It's a real zero. We call it absolute means uh, real zero. Why real zero? Because three zero there. Volume becomes zero. Pressure becomes zero. Kinetic energy becomes zero. So everything basically stops. It's a real zero, you know. That's why we call absolute zero. But don't worry, la. this temperature, I believe, uh, is uh, theoretical. We will keep uh, say as theoretical temperature. La. Human being for, I think, 50, 100 years, uh, it's impossible to achieve this temperature. One, la. Because uh, the moment this temperature can be achieved means uh, it's the end of the world. You can imagine uh, no volume already. No kinetic energy, everything stopped moving. So how the whole world disappeared, huh? right? So I, I hope uh, this temperature will stay forever as theoretical temperature only. Cannot be achieved one, okay? But the scientists never deny this at all. They say the scientists say this is the lowest temperature possible to achieve. They say possible, you know, the scientists say 
possible mean one day that they may achieve this temperature one very dangerous okay so i believe at the end of the year will come on in one day but we don't know when uh, huh? okay but i think it's not in your time also uh, huh? not in your generation also uh. okay come we look at an example study the question a motorist blows up her car tires to a pressure of 5.4 atmospheric pressure on a cold morning when the temperature is negative 3 Celsius. What will be the pressure in the tire on the hot day if the temperature becomes 27? Definitely the temperature the pressure becomes higher when the temperature goes up, right? But you need to calculate and also you do like this. Lah. Okay, you see the solution now. Nah? Pressure 1, 5.4, temperature 1 change to Kelvin. Now remember, no, every time you use this formula, the temperature must change to Kelvin 1, plus 273, change to Kelvin. So here, find a new pressure when the temperature is 27, change to Kelvin, plus 273. Solve the equation so you get 6, 6 ATM. Nah. So meaning that the pressure gets higher already. Nah. From 5.4 ATM now become 6 when the temperature go up, right? Okay, like this question, okay. Next question. Read the question now. A cylinder of oxygen at 27 degrees Celsius has a gas pressure, uh, this one given in Pascal. Gas pressure, uh, 3 times 10 to the power 6 Pascal. What is the temperature of the oxygen if the cylinder cool? Now we cool it down. To a new pressure 2.73 10 to the power 6. Now pressure become lower. Now when you cool down, the pressure become lower. Lah. So same formula, same solution. Okay, you do like this. Now I think you all can understand now. Pressure 1 given this value, temperature 1, 27, change to Kelvin plus 273. Now pressure through 2 drop to 2.73, you'll find the new temperature. So when you solve this equation now, you get 273 Kelvin. Remember you now, the temperature answer when they are using this formula la, is in Kelvin. La. Then you can change to Celsius. From Kelvin change to Celsius to minus 273. So remember now, Celsius change to Kelvin, you add 273. Then Kelvin change back to Celsius, now you minus 273. So you get zero degrees Celsius now. Okay. So the answer is zero degrees Celsius now. Okay. Understand? So pressure law is now not so difficult. Lah. Okay, now, how to explain the pressure law using kinetic theory? Kinetic theory means uh, we are describe the molecule, how the molecule move. Okay, we see that uh, in our pressure law, we say just now one, uh, we say pressure directly proportional to absolute temperature, right? So we say when the temperature getting higher, the pressure become higher. But why? Why this happen? Why when the temperature getting higher, the pressure become higher? So we need to explain using kinetic theory, okay? Uh, I think you can just read slowly, you can understand now why. The sample of gas kept at a constant volume as the temperature rises, we said when the temperature go up, right? So the molecule will move faster, move rapidly. This is common sense now. Sure one, when the temperature higher, right? The molecule move faster because hot means are uh, more active, more energy. So it will move faster, okay? So the molecule move faster. What happened? They collide the wall of container at higher frequency. So when they move faster, so it will collide the wall of a container more frequent. So when a collision more frequent, uh, it will result into higher Pressure, that's it. Uh, huh? So very easy to understand, right? Pressure law, right? Post you may understand. Uh, Post you may understand. Yes. Your friend is not here, law. Can one can one uh, what's the name? Can one you she got something something to do. Okay. Right, next.
Yeah. So just now we say the molecule more active, move faster, so we collide the wall container more often, right? So the change in momentum is greater. So the force they exert on the wall is larger. Lah. So when the force is larger, so you become higher pressure basically. Lah, because force larger, pressure become higher. Okay. As temperature increases, pressure increases. So this exactly explains what this uh, pressure law about. Yeah, come on, you yeah, here. Lah. I thought you are not here, come on you. Okay, lah, huh? later on only you go. Lah, huh? Come on you. Okay. So understand. Huh? So everyone understand a lot. Pressure law, understand. Huh? Full, understand. Huh? Full, what is uh, pressure law? Now you understand already. Huh? Full, no answer. Keep quiet only. Taranto, understand. Huh? Fu say yep, okay, Fu understand. Okay, Terento, what about you? Ah, Terento. No answer, no answer mean playing and fun. I don't want the mother complain. Ah, yes, sir, thank you, Teren. Huh? Yeah? Kim Ching Wan, what about you? Kim Ching Wan, are you there now? Kim Ching Wan? Yes. Do you understand what is uh, pressure law? Yes. Lim Ching Wan, can you uh, state the pressure law? How to state the pressure law? Ah, Lim Ching Wan, try, okay, try state the pressure law. Relation now. Between the uh, pressure and temperature, like how Lim Ching Wan, the relation between the pressure and temperature. And now can find the answer. The higher the temperature, the higher the pressure. Yes, good. The higher the absolute temperature. Remember, must say absolute temperature, lah. Huh? Because our absolute temperature and temperature are different things. So in uh, this case law, we have to be very particular, particular, you know. When we say the temperature, you remember, must use absolute temperature. Huh? Okay. The higher the temperature, the higher the pressure. Huh? Okay. Now, one more last thing uh, we discuss is uh, experiment. Uh, this one, we cannot shortcut one. The pressure law experiment, you have to go through, okay? You have to go through the experiment. How this experiment being carried out? Huh? Uh, I told you before, right? In this chapter, uh, there are three important from uh, experiment, you know, gas law, Boy's law experiment. Second one is uh, Charles law experiment. And tonight, this is pressure law experiment. Okay, so this these are the big three experiment. You know, okay, huh? to investigate the relation between the temperature and the pressure. Okay, temperature versus pressure lah. So this is pressure law experiment. Huh? Okay, the experiment is something like this. When you look at here, let me explain this to you first. Okay, in this experiment, right, you are using a uh, Round bottom flush, we call it round bottom flush. This one, uh, so to trap the A inside, inside this bottle, uh, got A inside. Okay, and this A is covered using a uh, rubber stopper. Uh, you cover it and then use a tube connect to a rubber tube. And this rubber tube connect to a golden gauge. Uh, this potent kit function is to measure the gas pressure. This is a meter. You can see the gas pressure inside. Okay. So this measure direct the gas pressure one, you know. Huh? Okay, huh? 
So what you do is you put this uh, round bottom flask into a beaker of water, put inside water, and then put a little bit of ice. So you need to have thermometer to check the temperature, right? Uh, you put ice means uh, you cool down the temperature to zero, then only you start. That's why you see your experiment start from zero degree. When the temperature is zero degree, right? Okay, you check here. What is the pressure? You can read from here. Long. Example, pressure is 600. Long. For example, okay? When temperature of the gas is zero, you read here, you get 600. Then you start the fire to heat up the water. Now, when every time, right? Every time the temperature go up by 10 degree, right? You check the pressure. So when the temperature now is 10, is it 10 degree, right? Check the thermometer, you know it's 10 degree. Then you see what is the pressure. And now, I got the pressure now become 800. Then the temperature continue to go up, isn't it? 20 degree become 1000, the pressure. When temperature 30 degree, the pressure become 1002. Then you can see very clear here now. Nah? When the temperature getting higher, you continue to heat up the water, right? When the water hot, so the gas also become hot. When you continue to heat up the gas, right? You notice that the pressure also become higher. So very easy to understand all this experiment. Very obvious experiment now. When the gas become hot, the pressure become higher, right? Pressure, this is a pressure law experiment now. Remember now, the whole thing, you know. Wait, I'm not scaring you all, you know. You all must know how to draw one, you know, by grammar. You might know how to draw one. Okay, let me tell you. Uh, you are the first batch you have to sit for the practical test, you know. Okay, in the practical test, uh, they will ask you to do, when you when you go go to the exam, when you go inside the lab, you will notice on your table, there will be uh, apparatus or something, but the apparatus are just uh, put nicely, never arrange for you one. Then they will ask you to design one experiment, Set up the experiment by yourself. No diagram given to you. You set up yourself. Okay. Set up the experiment to see the relation between the temperature and the pressure. So you have to set up like this. Lah. Not really that or not. After you finish the experiment, and you draw the diagram on the paper, on the answer sheet. You have to draw. You have to draw the diagram, you know. So you have to pay your pattern, learn how to draw all the experiment diagram. You know? huh? Okay. Huh? Understand now, uh, Nicole Chua, understand? Now, uh, Nicole? Understand. Nicole disappeared already, I still hear or not? Okay. Yes, Nicole. Okay, come. Hypothesis, when the pressure increases, when the temperature increases, the pressure increases. Uh, okay. Manipulated, you manipulate the temperature, theta, the temperature, you use a gas to heat up the water, right? To control the temperature, ma, zero degree, ten degree, twenty degree, and so on, right? Okay. Ah, uh, then responding variable is please jot it down, right? It's pressure P, pressure, pressure. You get direct from the wooden kit here, lah. Okay, temperature. You see the thermometer. Pressure. You look at the wooden kit reading, ah, uh, pressure responding variable, and. Constant variable in this experiment is a mass of the gas, the mass. Uh, mass means uh, the amount of gas inside this uh, round bottom flush will remain the same. Uh. When the gas remains the same, so the mass is constant. Uh. Volume, volume also constant uh, because we never allow the gas to expand, isn't it? Volume constant. Uh. Okay. Material, thermometer, round bottom flush, this one. Uh, Speaker, retort stand, Bunsen burner, tripod stand, wire gauge, this are now. Ruler, don't need a ruler, cancer. Wooden gauge, rubber tube, this are rubber tube now. Huh? Okay. Wooden block, this one. Water, ice, okay, that's it. Okay. So roughly you understand the experiment. Huh? Okay, procedure. First, Make sure water and ice stir continuously until temperature steady, zero degree. Nah. By using thermometer, temperature trap here recorded will start with zero degree. As I told you, you put ice, right? so you start from zero. 
Okay. Then by using the Bowden gauge, the pressure of the trap A we call that B. Okay. The pressure here you can check here. Then repeat the experiment five times with different values of temperature, like 10 degree, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Huh? Okay, huh? And finally, the table. Huh? The table and also the graph. You see the graph is like that. Remember now, huh? when your temperature is in Celsius, right? it doesn't start from zero. You see, it never start from zero one. You see, temperature zero, it starts from 600. I mean, here is 600, you know. Okay, like that. When you extend, then you can see on your graph paper, you show the value negative 273. That's why it's very important to remember this temperature, negative 273. Okay, triple point, triple point temperature. Okay. So, okay, huh? So, this experiment, okay or not? Okay, now I want to ask you one question now. Always, uh, they will ask you this question well, what is your precaution when you do this experiment? What is your precaution? Uh, you must be careful about what? Uh, what you must be careful about? Jerry, there you go. Jerry, uh, can you tell me uh, when you do this experiment, uh, what is your precaution? Uh, Terry? Uh, the eye need to uh, prevent parallax error. Yes, correct. How to prevent parallax error? How? Uh, <laughs> Something to do here. Huh? How to prevent parallax error? The eye need to... Uh, how? Your eyes need, need to be how? What position your eyes? Yeah? Proportional to the reading. Ah, yes, correct. Position the eyes perpendicular perpendicular not proportional nah. perpendicular 90 degree when you see this uh, skill right you have to look at it 90 degree now perpendicular to the potent cage even though thermometer also the same you know you need to put your eyes perpendicularly direct 90 degree perpendicularly to the thermometer or to the potent cage nah. that will be your precaution okay your precaution now nah, huh? all right any other precaution now nah? uh, class any other precaution i think no lah huh? no need not really. only this lah huh? so can now okay now we got a little bit more go on here okay see absolute temperature and so on this one i think simple lah you can just read on it what is absolute temperature? Okay, see here now. Huh? The Kelvin scale known as absolute temperature. Kelvin scale, huh? When you see the temperature is in Kelvin, right? This means in, this means absolute temperature, lah, right? Okay. Celsius change to Kelvin, you plus two seven three. You see the formula. Celsius, you want to change to Kelvin, right? You add two seven three. When Kelvin, uh, you want to change back to Celsius, you minus 273. So remember this, huh? Okay. Absolute zero, this one just now, can Leong already answer, negative 273, this is absolute zero temperature or zero Kelvin. Remember now, negative 273 Celsius, same as zero Kelvin. Okay. They are the same. The lowest possible temperature could be attained. Lowest temperature possible to achieve flat is a possible. Okay. And now look at the graph. Volume Celsius. Okay, when the temperature is in Celsius, are you notice? Huh? When the vol when you cool cool down the thing to the temperature negative 273 you can notice that uh, the volume drop to zero you know here the volume becomes zero already volume is zero this i say during this temperature volume becomes zero and also same pressure also drop to zero see when you achieve this temperature uh, the pressure drop to zero so volume zero pressure zero and one more kinetic energy okay now it's here like you can read uh, Based on Charles law and pressure law, at absolute zero temperature, highlight 
the volume and the pressure become zero. Highlight that nah? important. No volume becomes zero, pressure becomes zero. Very dangerous thing. If absolute zero temperature related to kinetic energy, then we might expect that would be a temperature where the molecule would be stationary. Stationary means stop moving already. Stop moving means ah, uh, no more kinetic energy, you know. And then their kinetic energy would be zero. Okay. So remember, no? at absolute zero, kinetic energy is minimum. Minimum is very near to zero already. La. So no object can cool to a lower temperature than this. So we said the lowest possible temperature is negative 273 or zero Kelvin. So no object can be cooled to a lower temperature than negative 273. La. So the lowest temperature already. Huh? So in fact, uh, human uh, can die when the temperature about low, about negative 10. Negative 10 degree, uh, you stay there five minutes or so, you die already. You cannot stand, our body cannot stand one, you know. Zero degree, you go inside the fridge, you're also cold already. Negative 10 also cannot stand. If negative 20, negative 40, sure, everybody die one. But this are negative 200 something, even worse. Uh, okay. So, so we have finished the whole chapter, la, chapter four, okay? Uh, heat, we are done already. Uh, can anyone tell me uh, the objective question, uh, where did we stop at the other day? Anyone remember, or Siume, do you remember? The objective question, uh, we stop at one number, or Siume, uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay, hey, 19. Start with, huh? start with 19. Start with 19. Okay, thank you. Pause you may. Start with 19, she said. Okay, 19 here. Start from here. Huh? So this time, nothing much. Lah. This two, I can straight away let you know the answer. Lah. First question, pressure, temperature. So it's directly proportional. Ma. Right, directly proportional when temperature is in Kelvin, it starts from zero. Huh? The rest are all wrong one. Celsius cannot, Celsius cannot start from here one. Start somewhere here. If Celsius I start from here, okay, like that. Okay, so A correct, huh? Okay, number 20. Absolute zero temperature is zero Kelvin or negative 273 degrees. This I'm just out. You might know, you know, absolute zero is either zero Kelvin or negative 273 Celsius. I don't want, I don't want, huh? this one is real zero, zero Kelvin or negative 273 Celsius. Okay, anyone? If a gas cool to absolute zero temperature, so the gas molecule, what happened? Uh, can you find the answer? If a gas is cool to absolute zero. Uh. So what happened to the gas? Uh? What happened to the gas? Uh? Chua, Chua Huan, CHY, who is CHY? Uh? You, you put like that, you know, like a nine, CHY. Who is CHY? Okay, 21, uh, can you answer? CHY, can you answer? Uh, Possumay, uh, CHY. Uh. Okay, Possumay say donkey. Uh. Let's see, uh, is it donkey? Okay, I think it's correct. Uh, donkey. Yes, correct. Donkey. Okay. Minimum kinetic energy. So correct. Uh. Yeah. 22. Question 22. What answer? Absolute zero temperature is a temperature at which which one is answer huh? uh, try to record the name man. i cannot remember how punling uh, how 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 is here how punling how punling uh, one answer 22 how how punling 
HBL เขาคุณเรื่องเงาเพราะนั้นเซอร์ no answer ว่า no this people นะฮะโอเค the answer is ตีล่า the pressure become zero นะโอเค three zero please jot down volume zero pressure zero kinetic energy zero three zero ฮะจดตาวเฮีย volume is zero pressure zero kinetic energy also zero โอเคเดี๋ยว and twenty three twenty four I think we have discussed correct not Gary correct twenty three twenty four we have discussed isn't it yes sir okay so we go to the last question now twenty five okay twenty three twenty four discussed already now is twenty five okay here Also very basic, very short question. Okay, look at question. Any other question? Diagram shows a manometer. Okay, class. Ah, can you highlight this manometer? You need to know what is this. Ah, manometer means this one, the U-shaped tube. This is a glass tube, a U-shaped one. So we call it. Manometer, you see here. Manometer. Remember the name, ah, manometer, na. The glass tube, ah, U shape one, so we call it manometer. Okay. Diagram show a manometer connected to gas tank. This is gas tank. When the clip is open, when you open the clip here, the gas come over, right? The gas will come over, then push the mercury down. This side mercury go up. Correct, not? When the clip open, the position of mercury at point X and Y are this one become 45 cm and this one is 20. Ah, this one change to 20. Please change it to 20. Cancel the 25. Change to 20. You follow the diagram. Ah, this one is 20. Okay, 20 cm. So the temperature is 1 to 7 degrees Celsius. Ah. Atmospheric pressure is given 75. Okay, remember, you know, this atmospheric pressure is pushing down from here. So you put here this 75 cm mercury is given atmospheric pressure. So you're pushing down from here. And this 25 cm, huh? 45 minus 20 is 40, 25, isn't it? This 25 cm is pushing down. So 75 plus 25, so all together is 100 already. Pushes down. Okay, so the pressure is actually the seventy five plus twenty five. Okay, because atmospheric, this twenty five is pushed down, so this gas ah have to support hundred cm mercury of pressure. So the answer is, what is the pressure at point X? What answer? So, yes, the this one is twenty five cm or twenty cm. No, here change to 20. Uh-huh, then, yeah. The reading here is 20, ma. Uh-huh. 20 means uh, 45 minus 20, so it's 25, no? Oh, okay, okay. This thank 25 refer to here. Uh, okay, okay, understand, Leo? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, 25 is here, uh, referring to here, uh, 25. 45 minus 20, so 25, no? So 75 for the atmosphere, Plus the mercury length of 25 cm, so all together 100. Okay, what is the pressure of point X here? 75 lah. Okay, so okay ah, pressure of X is 75 lah because it's only come from atmospheric only at here 75. Then the pressure of the gas tank will become total of 100. Okay, 100 lah. Because the gas pressure la, is stop here, you know. So the pressure at this point la, will same as the pressure at this point. When they are level same, la, okay, I repeat again. La. When you open the clip, right, the gas come over, so the gas stop here. So how big is the gas pressure here? You just check the same level one to this here. At this point, the pressure is 100. 75 plus 25. So at this point, the pressure is 100. Lah. So same lah. When same level means same pressure. Here is 100. Here is also pressure gas is 100. Okay. 
So it's 100 cm mercury. Okay, understand? Yeah. All right, next one. When the gas is cooled down to T degree, just now was 127 degree, now you cool it down to T degree Celsius. Y increases and X decreases until X, Y become the same, become like this already, okay? Meaning that uh, X go down, Y go up, become same, uh, become like this, okay? So when you cool it down, uh, the temperature, the, the, when you cool down the gas, right, the gas pressure drop. When the gas pressure drop, okay, let me explain first. Uh, when you cool down the gas, right, the temperature down, the pressure will drop when you know once the pressure drop uh, so this time you push down further this time we go up uh, because the gas pressure less already less pressure from the gas means that uh, the mercury can push up higher so until become same level until become same level you know it's so like this uh, you say in the question you no know, same level okay now they ask you to explain Based on the current theory, explain why the mercury X decreased when the gas is cooled down. Why? Why the X decreased? Because the gas pressure dropped, correct not? You see, uh, when this gas pressure drop, uh, so you cannot tahan the mercury when the mercury will come down. So here you go out, you push up. Okay? So it's, this thing go down is because of the pressure here drop. Okay? So you explain like this. Gas molecule moves slower. When you reduce the temperature, right? The gas molecule moves slower. And the frequency of collision with the wall of tank decreases. So the pressure decreases. Eventually, the pressure decreases. Lah. Okay. So what happens is, when you cool down the temperature of the gas, right? So gas molecule will move slower. Move slower already. And the frequency, when it moves slower means, ah, Frequency of collision with the wall of tank will become less, it will decrease. So this eventually will cause the pressure of the gas decrease. Okay, so this is our answer. Yeah. Hashini, understand? Yeah, Hashini. Yes, sir. Can I can understand? Can. Huh? Okay, good. Sima, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw you came in. You came in lick a little bit lick, right? Not Shima. Yes. Why? Why? Why lick just now? Uh, I had my lunch lick. Hey, dinner lick. Oh, your dinner lick lah. Oh, okay lah. Can be excuse lah. Oh. <laughs> Shima, very shy one. Okay. All right. Next, what is the pressure of gas at? Temperature T. Okay. Now you see now uh, why my answer is same as 75, same as the atmospheric pressure. Then why? Why? Why the answer is 75? Then I put in the bracket is atmospheric pressure. Why then? Because uh, when you see uh, the mercury level become the same already, right? Same means uh, the pressure on the left, pressure on the right, actually same. Become same already. So at this level mean is atmospheric pressure, ma, only atmospheric pressure. So this level here is gas pressure. Means at when they are same level means uh, the gas pressure same as atmospheric pressure. So here is atmospheric pressure. Okay, here come in. So the pressure of gas same as the atmospheric pressure. Lah. So the answer is 75. Okay. Then, uh, okay, last calculate the value of T. They ask you to calculate the temperature. So, of course, you have to use a pressure law formula. Lah. Okay, come now. Nah. I think you just see the answer, you can understand. Or oh, use a pressure law formula. Put in whatever value given. Pressure 1, 100. Just now 75 plus 25, so 100 cm mercury, right? Temperature 127 degree marching to Kelvin. Okay, after that, same as atmospheric pressure, which is only 75. Now you find a new 
fresh temperature. So you get 300. When you finish this year, now you get 300. Then change to Celsius by minus 273. So you get 27. So the final answer is 27 degrees Celsius. Now. And name the law. So the law here is pressure law. Okay. Yeah, understand everyone finished? Okay, yeah, finish a lot. Very Hashini, finish. Yeah, finish, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, one more question. The experiment question. Okay. Uh, this this was one of the examples of past year paper, lah, huh? Experiment question now. The diagram show a bubbles. You see uh, the fish is here. So the fish release these uh, a bubbles, right? You notice here at the bottom here, the a bubbles are very small, very small, small, getting bigger, 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 bigger. When they go up, you become bigger. Correct or not? The reason I think you all know, right? Why the a bubble at the bottom here very small? Why when the air bubble go up, it become bigger? Why next, Shima? Shima, can you explain? Why the air bubble here small? When it go up here, the air bubble become bigger. Why? And uh, bottom, the pressure is very high. Yes, correct. At bottom here, water pressure is high. So the air bubble very small. When it go up here, the pressure become smaller. So the air bubble expand up, become bigger. So this is something to do with Pressure, you can see here, right? Pressure decreases when you go up, right? Pressure decreases, the volume of gas become bigger. Huh? Inversely proportional, this is Boyle's law experiment, right? Boyle's law experiment. Okay, uh, the first question that they always ask you to write inference. In your practical test later on, also our first question they will ask you, give an uh, inference. Give one inference, you know. From this diagram, uh, our inference is what? Okay, inference means uh, you always use a keyword, depends on. What depends on what? Or you use a word affecting what? Affecting what? Right? You either use depends on or you use affected affecting understand so how to give the inference here how to write the inference just one short sentence only uh, i suggest uh, you use a word depends on uh, what depends on what you can see the diagram actually what depends on what uh leo are you still there leo ping how still there or not yes leo can you tell me what depends on what day fine uh the Volume of bubble depends on the pressure. Yes, very good. Volume of gas depends on the pressure, depends on water pressure. Huh? The volume of gas 
or you just say that the volume of gas la, you don't use a wet bubble also okay you just say because inside the bubble is gas la. so we say the volume of gas depends on the water pressure okay that's it there will be the inference la. okay now you can check the answer uh, either one you can use either one answer now the size of the air bubbles depends on the depth okay size of air bubbles depends on the depth of water this one is what you see la, huh? size of air bubbles depends on the depth or i suggest you follow this answer like this is more appropriate answer like i would say la. the volume of gas depends on the pressure okay i don't want huh? the volume of gas depends on the pressure so this will be your inference inference huh? okay the next one will be your hypothesis uh, hypothesis means that uh, you write the theory the relation the relationship lah, in theory but remember you know don't use the terms that are directly proportional or inversely proportional for hypothesis because uh, Hi, uh, directly proportional or inversely proportional only can be used when you can see a graph. When you see a graph, a line pass through origin line, right? and then you can say directly proportional. When you are given a graph, you see a curve coming down like that, again, you can say inversely proportional. If no graph, no graph given, right? never, never use directly proportional or inversely proportional no, don't don't so for hypothesis here you say the bigger this the bigger that the smaller this the bigger that huh? so the answer here you like uh, this the higher the pressure the smaller the volume of gas huh? like that no the higher the pressure the smaller the volume of the gas okay use this statement now huh, for hypothesis huh? higher the pressure the smaller the volume of the gas okay then uh, and next is with the use of apparatus such as 100 cm string use a string weight the rest other apparatus you have to think of yourself huh? describe the experiment how you do okay now aim M are normally how you write one M. M is the keyword is to investigate the relationship. Okay, to investigate the relationship between what and what. So you refer to your hypothesis. Okay, now nah, like that lah. To investigate the relationship between the pressure and volume of gas. So this one will be your hypothesis to investigate the relationship between the pressure and volume of gas okay yeah all right next one Next one is variable. Okay, variables, list of characters, all these are. Uh, you can uh, refer to your notes, okay? So it's here, but I still want you to practice to write, you know, even though you can get the answer inside this paper, but it's good that you practice to write it out, okay? So I think it's somewhere here. The Boyce Law experiment. Now it's here. Okay. This experiment. So now this uh variable, right? The variable is here. No? Manipulated variable is slotted weight. You remember not the question said given you the weight, isn't it? Slotted weight. Responding variable is volume of the gas. 
screen not volume, you know. You see, uh, the experiment is here. Oh, volume, sorry, it's volume. Now you see the diagram. You put the weight here, you see, you put the weight here to compress the, the air. Uh, okay, this piston will push down, right? It will push down to compress the air. So you see that the A, what is the volume of the air? The A cannot go out already because here you lock already. Okay. So manipulated variable is a weight, slotted weight. You put the weight here. Then responding variable will be the volume of the gas. How big the gas volume here? This thing can come down one, you know, you put heavier, right? It can go down. So the volume becomes smaller, right? So manipulated is slotted weight. Responding is uh, volume of the gas, right? Okay. Where is a constant variable now? Nah? Constant variable, mass, temperature. Okay. The mass and the temperature must stay constant now. Nah? Apparatus and material given you the question. 100 cm string, a ruler, you need a ruler. Nah? Weight, clip, retort stand. Okay. Please write it down. Okay. You need all this, huh? 100 cm string, a ruler. Weight, clip, retort stand. Okay. Okay, next. Next is apparatus arrangement, also is the diagram. Huh? Practice, draw the diagram. It's very important to draw. This one is a string, piston. All the string will have a piston one, okay? So you put the slotted weight on top. Tie it up on a retort stand. So use a rubber tube here, clip to prevent the gas from coming out, okay? Right, that's it all. So the diagram is like that, huh? Then later on is the procedure. Go study the diagram, no, at least uh, you must learn how to draw, okay? Learn how to draw the diagram. Can one you raise your hand, uh, you want to leave now, can one you, correct? Yeah, bye bye, luck come on you. Well, bye bye, bye come on you. Yeah. Okay, now procedure. Uh, the procedure you cannot follow here because you need to change, you know, okay? Procedure you change, huh? Okay, you see how you change the procedure. These are all do need la. Do need do, do need to do like that one. So now first you write here a weight of mass 100 gram. So we started with 100 gram. See, started with 100 gram. Huh? You put up here 100 gram. First you start with 100 gram. Put up here la. A weight of mass 100 gram placed onto the piston. Then number two. Record the reading of the string, the volume. Uh, this one is number two. Uh, number two is here. Record the reading of the string. Okay, the volume. Straight away, the volume here. Uh, this one calculate the pressure. Also, what is known it? Uh, this one. No need. Uh. No need. So see the volume can read it. Uh. Because uh, from the string, you can read the volume direct. You can see 50, 100, 150, 200 cm. You can see one. It's a volume read direct here. It's a nonsense. I only calculate one. It's already here. The volume is already shown on the string. Okay. Record the reading of the this volume. Huh? Then number three, repetition. Number three, you repeat. The experiment repeated five times with the different values of Mess, huh? you have to write it down, you know, you cannot just say like this, you must write 
So, so now start up with 100, then you say continue with 200 gram, 200. Okay, gram. After that, 300 gram. Okay, you all write yourself, uh -huh. and so on. Uh -huh. Must list out, cannot just say like this, you know, you must write experiment repeater find time with different values of mass. You must say, example, 200 gram, 300 gram, 400, 500, 600. I have to, don't be lazy, yeah. list it out, understand? You know? And the next one is uh, tabulation table. Okay, prepare a table like this now. So I suggest your table is vertical table, don't horizontal. Put vertical table la, like this, uh, vertical. La. So two columns, one on the left, one on the right, vertical. Okay, use this out, columns. La. Okay, so here is mass. So here is volume, okay? Understand now, uh, use a table like that. Okay, so tabulation of data. And last will be the way you analyze your data. So the graph, uh, you sketch a graph. Volume against, uh, here is volume, here is mass. You are using mass, right? Volume against a mass. So here is mass. Huh? Okay. So bigger mass, volume becomes smaller. So the graph is like that. Huh? Okay. Okay. Huh? So, okay, finish up. Huh? So, meaning that uh, our this chapter four, we have finished already now, chapter four. Okay. Anyone, anything to ask here? Sim Pun Keng, any question? Sima. Sit Ailing, any question? No, sir. No question. Simpun Keng also no question. Kamen Lee, any question? No, sir. No, sir. Everyone so good. No question. Okay. Uh, since nobody want to ask any question, uh, and now I want to ask question, okay? You can you look at this uh, revision paper now? Uh? You all, you all have this paper or not? I uh, shared it inside the group already. This is the question now. Uh, cover the whole chapter, okay? Never mind, let me show, uh, share, with, share with you first. Uh, this paper, the paper is here. Don't worry, slowly, uh, show the paper to you. Okay, this paper, you have or not? Ob start with the objective paper. Okay, this set of paper, right? All together, 10 pages, you know, is cover the whole chapter four. It will take some time to answer all, uh, okay? If you know how to answer all the questions, uh, means your Chapter four, 
done already. Your chapter four, you can, uh, you are really understand properly. So you need to know everything now. Okay, huh? okay now since nobody asked me question, and uh, now I want to ask question. I want you to do one by one. Okay. Question one, what is answer? Make it bigger, lah. Huh? Question one, what is answer? One minute. Okay. Later, I can call your name so you answer. Don't worry, lah. You know you're very scared. I call your name one. So what is answer then? Diagram show a metal sphere. This is a metal sphere. Immersed in the cold water at zero degree. Uh, this one put it inside the water, zero degree Celsius, very cold. Uh, then after that, thermal equilibrium is rich. Uh, they ask you, thermal equilibrium is rich when? ABCD, which one? Which one show the meanings of thermal equilibrium? Huh? Jia Wei, Yong Jia Wei, Yong Jia Wei, da. what is the answer? Da? Thermal equilibrium which is when? Which one is the answer? Yong Jia Wei? C. Huh? C. Yong, Yong Jia Wei? I cannot hear you, no. What is the answer, Yong Jia Wei? C. Yes, correct. C. When the temperature same. Okay. When the temperature same means uh, thermal equilibrium is rich. Uh, so remember now, the definition of temp uh, thermal equilibrium means uh, two objects having the same temperature become the same temperature already. And when you, you come back. Uh, uh, come on you. No need go already. I uh, come on you. Okay, question number two. Read, read the question. Diagram show a mercury in class thermometer. The distance between negative 10 to 110 is 24 cm. Okay, see the diagram. Uh. Oh, you can see here long. Temperature negative 10, temperature 110 is 24 cm. The length 24. Remember, no? here to here, no? actually, is how many degrees altogether? From negative 10 to 110, no? actually, how many degrees Celsius? Teacher haven't started. Oh, okay, okay. You understand now, huh? Can, can one you? So actually from negative 10 to 110 here uh, is 120 degree, you know, and then the length is 24 cm. Now the question asks, uh, what is the theta? What is this temperature? Can you all do? Now you see, uh, the question is like that one or not easy one at all. So what is this temperature? First, uh, you must know what formula to use first. Do you remember the formula or not? Okay, let me show you the formula. Lah, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Now, the formula is here, okay? This formula you remember or not? In your lesson one, you learn this, right? L theta minus L zero. Here is L hundred minus L zero, then time hundred, our formula. But now this formula, why I change to 110? 
not 110, sorry, it should be 120. Not 100 already, it should be 120. So here is 120. Change to 120. Huh? Okay. Because uh, from here to here, the difference is 120. Okay. So here is 120. So here is also 120. Okay, so L theta is 14 cm. This one considered zero, no, no high given, so zero. No? Then when temperature 110 is 24 cm, so this is 24 cm. This is theta, 14 cm. Okay, 110 degree, 24 cm. So this one minus zero, here's zero. Huh? And 120, okay. The actual formula, right? During your lesson one, when you learn the formula, the formula is L theta minus Z, L zero, L hundred minus L zero times hundred, isn't it? Because uh, that formula, every time we put times hundred, because uh, the difference between hundred degree and the zero degree, uh, the temperature is one hundred degree, ma. So the sign the formula is one hundred. But in this question, uh, we have to modify the formula because. The given formulas are given temperature, like the lowest temperature is negative 10. The highest temperature become 110. So the difference is 120. Understand? So the formula have to be modified to 120. Huh? Okay, when you can someone please calculate one answer, not this 70 already. One answer 14 over 25 times 24 times 120. What is answer? Yong Jiawei, what answer? Seventy are correct, or seventy, right? Correct. The seventy are correct. Ah, I, I got to erase it. Sorry. So seventy is correct. Yeah. So seventy, right, is the length, you know. It's not this reading, you know. Then why 70 at minus 10 to get 60 then why? Why I need to minus 10? Because uh, 70 is a total here now, total here. Total, so you start from negative 10, negative 10 to zero uh, actually is 10, you know, so go up here. Uh, actually negative 10, then somewhere here becomes zero. So here becomes 70, correct not? Negative 10, 0, 70. Then, these are 70, uh, is the temperature, you know, from here to here, 70, okay? From here to here, 70 means, uh, Go up here is 10 degrees, so go up here actually 60, 60 degree. Here supposed to be 60 degree, okay? Because uh, from negative 10 to 60, actually 70, correct not? Besides this temperature is 60, la. Uh, so the final answer is 60. Because from negative 10 to 60, the difference is 70. So our answer here 70 means uh, show that this one actually 60 only. Because the difference is 70, okay? Understand? Yeah? Don't you understand? Yes. Okay, next question, number three. Okay. Diagram show two objects, X, Y, touching each other. They are touching one. When they are touching, we call them thermal contact. So remember your lesson one, you know, they are in thermal contact. They are touching each other with different temperature. What happens when they are at thermal equilibrium? Very simple. Sit idling. What happens when they are at thermal equilibrium? Sit idling, what answer? Sit down. Boy. 
Boy. Boy. She said boy. Yes, correct. At the same temperature. Okay. So boy, correct, huh? Okay, numbers four now. Question number four. So diagram show a mercury thermometer. Okay. Why does a capillary tube have a very narrow bow? Why this capillary tube are very narrow one? Why very narrow? What is the reason? Why the mercury, this one, capillary, uh, capillary tube is very narrow? Why? What is the answer? A, B, C. Can you think carefully? Why the capillary tube must be very narrow? Mignesh, are you still there? Mignesh, uh? Yes, sir. Yeah, why must we narrow the capillary tube? This capillary uh, tube. Why? See ya. See ya. Okay, let's see ya. Yes, correct. To increase the sensitivity. Because uh, when the tube narrow, so the temperature can go up faster, can respond faster, so it's more sensitive. Lah. Correct, okay? Increase the sensitivity. Okay, next. Number five. Go slowly one by one. Don't skip. You don't skip. Huh? If I call you, you cannot answer. You just say you don't know. Like, don't need to worry. What? Don't need to shy. Huh? Don't shy. Okay, number five. A student pour liquid P, which is 80 degree, into a liquid Q, which is at 50. Okay. The final temperature mixture will be. Ong Chia Xin, are you there? Ong Chia Xin, ah. This one just use common sense to answer one. Ong Chia Xin, are you there? Yes, no. Ong, ah, you read the question, then you try to answer. Ong. Pour liquid, which is 80 degree, into a liquid Q, which is 50. One is 80 degree, one is 50 when you mix them up. So what is the final temperature? Ah, Ong. One cup of water, 80 degree. Another cup of water, 50 degree. When you mix them up, uh, what is the final temperature? Ong, Ong Chia Sin. Is it D? Yes, donkey. right. Donkey. Okay. It must be between 50 and 80, uh, right? But you don't know, you don't know the exact temperature, uh, but it must be between 50 and 81, okay? Good. And number six. Yeah, now read and answer. Everyone look at huh? look at the question, you know. Diagram show two aluminium X and Y. Okay, two pieces of aluminium. Huh? Initial temperature of Y120. Huh? Initial temperature of X and Y. Okay. X is 120, Y is 10. This one 120, this is 10. Nah. This one hot, this one cold. It is found that temperature X is same as Y after a few minutes. This one I think common sense, no? So which concept? You wait for a moment so the temperature becomes the same. Actually, what concept is that? What concept is that? Okay, let me see. Yeah, who? Because I cannot see your name here. Okay, Chua Michelle. Okay, Michelle. What concept there? Michelle Chua? Thermal equilibrium. Yes, correct. Thermal equilibrium. Okay, thermal equilibrium. So the answer is thermal equilibrium. Lah. Yeah. Okay, number seven. Yeah, this one may be a bit, a bit difficult. Okay. Read the question, y'all. 
this one come with the graph one, you know. Not like that. Diagram show the temperature time graph. So here is temperature. This is time. For a lead block, iron block, and aluminum block, three different things. Huh? But we don't know which one iron, which one aluminum, which one is lead, they never say. Okay, which have the same mass and initial temperature. They are heated with identical heater. The specific, uh, this one is important. Huh? Specific heat capacity of lead, iron, aluminum, C1, C2, C3. Okay, you can see here the specific capacity. C1 smaller than C2, C2 smaller than C3 means uh, this one is lead, this one is iron, this one aluminum. Uh, you must know already. C1, uh, this lead has a smallest specific heat capacity, uh, whereas C3, uh, aluminum has the biggest specific heat capacity. Okay, I want to ask you all. Uh, Lead, uh, smallest specific heat capacity. So what happened to the lead? Aluminium has a highest specific capacity. So what happened to aluminium then? You all remember or not? This is our concept you all must know, you know. I want to ask you all. Uh, between lead, iron, aluminium, uh, based on the specific capacity, you know. Lead has the smallest one, smallest specific capacity. Aluminium has the largest. Who can be heat up? the fastest. The one with the smallest specific capacity or the biggest specific capacity can be heat up faster. Right? Which one can be heat up faster? Huh? Lim? Lim, uh, you want to answer this one? Lim, which one can heat up faster? Yeah, let Call somebody to understand. Jiuling, okay, Jiuling. Which one can be heat up the fastest? Jiuling, ah. The lowest one. Yes, correct. The lowest one, no? That means the lead, na. Lead can heat up the fastest. Fastest means, ah, uh, which one is a graph? This one is, it should be the fastest, uh, because you see the temperature higher, isn't it? Same time, but this one highest temperature means that this one heat up faster. So this one supposed to be lead. And heat up slowest one is aluminum. Okay. So now, what is the answer then? Lim Ching Wen, are you still there, Lim Ching Wen? What is the answer, Lim Ching Wen? Lim Ching Wen, are you there now? Yes. Lim Ching Wen, uh, what answer? What answer? Le? This one heat up fastest. This one heat up very slow. So which one is the answer? P is who? Q is who? R is who? Le? Can one you? Can one you? Uh? Any idea come on you? So now Chiuling already say my right. This one heat up the fastest. So meaning that P is lead. Aluminium heat up very, very slow. So this one should be aluminium. Okay. So the answer is D. Yeah, jot out the answer. This one you all must understand, you know, this one, uh, so answer donkey, uh. okay, all right, next, next one is uh, number eight, question number eight. You can see see the question. Uh, Julian, can you see the whole question here? Or some blocking? Yeah, the print the uh, paper. Huh?
you link what you see now? I got print the paper. Oh, you're looking at the paper. Lah. Then yeah, can you tell me to check the screen here? You can the screen can see the whole question or not? Yes, sir. Then I can see the right hand side also can see. Ah. The whole question right can see. Nothing, right? Yeah. Can see the whole question or not? The lower one cannot. Ah, okay, okay, can lah. Can. Thank you, Chu Ling. All right, now this question. Uh, when we finish this question, we stop lah, huh? Okay. Diagram show the apparatus set up to measure or to measure the specific heat capacity of aluminum. You remember this experiment or not? So this is the aluminum block, the heater put inside, thermometer put inside, you put a little bit of oil, right? The data collected is shown. Okay, so you have to you have this data. Mass of aluminum 300 gram. This piece of thing, 300 gram, uh, the mass, power of heater, 80 watt. Time of heating, two minutes. You heat up for two minutes. Initial temperature, 40. Final temperature, 80. That means before you heat up, 40. After you heat up, become 80. So meaning that the temperature go up by 40 degree, correct? Not from 40, go up to 80. Ma. So now the question. From given data, find specific heat capacity. I see, I show you the answer. You can see the whole answer or not? Our formula is what? Pt go to mc theta. Do you remember this formula? Power time equal to mc theta. Power 80 watt. Time 2 minutes change to second 120. Mass 300 gram change to kilo becomes 0 0.3. And C, specific capacity, you don't know, you are asked to find. Then theta, theta is 40. Why is 40 then? Lim Ching Wen, why the theta is 40 here, Lim Ching Wen? Ah, Lim Ching Wen? Magnish, why theta is 40, Magnish? Uh, because the difference in temperature. What? How to get this theta 40? Uh, 80 minus 40. Uh. Yes, correct. 80 minus 40. So you get 40. Lah. So you solve the equation. So final answer is 800. Okay. So the specific capacity for aluminum is 800. Okay. So, okay, huh? so I think for tonight we stop here. Okay, uh, the rest of the question, uh, okay, can you do first? Do it, please. Do it. Please refer to the notes, okay? The notes given, the handout before. Refer to the lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four notes to find the answer. Uh, please uh, answer the question. Uh, huh? You must do now. Okay? So I stop here for tonight. Now, anyone want to ask any question here? Any more question to ask? Lao, Lao Yixin, any question? Kong Fan Xin, any question or not? Uh, no, Fan. sir. No, sir. Kang, Ng Wei Kang, any question? Kan Wan Yu, okay, bye bye, Kan Wan Yu. No question, huh? Yeah, no. No, okay. Yan Liang, anything to ask? No, nothing. Yeah, no, nothing. Lah. Okay, lah. so like this, lah, huh? Okay, please uh, answer the rest of the question. Lah. Later on, I see you on Wednesday again. Lah. Okay, take good care of yourself. Remember? Study, you know, your form 4 syllabus is very important one. You'll be tested in your SPM one. You have one year and uh, how many months? Six months. Actually, less than that, you have one year and five months before your SPM. Then there's a lot of things for you to study, you know. Okay, so remember, lah, I know I'm talking a lot already, okay. So, no matter how, also you have to study, okay. Okay, so I see you again. Bye-bye. Take good care, huh?
Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye, everyone. Ah. Bye bye.